Welcome to this next session. As I said, my name is Carl Stanley and we're learning about business architecture and building business architecture skills. So, first steps in context and transformation, we need to answer this question. Why are we in business? Okay, so as I said, I refer to other bodies of knowledge. Um, so it's not just my, my um, techniques, these are uh, tried techniques that have been in the market for many years. So there is a group called the Object Management Group, the OMG. OMG, right? And they have a technique or the hard skill that you learn. It's called the Business Motivation Model. And it's affectionately called the BMM. Okay. Now, cause and effect. Okay, means and ends. So if I cause... Um, I stub my I stub my toe. The effect is pain. All right. So do I want to stub my toe? No. So I try and avoid that. Right. So simple illustration: cause and effect. Okay. Um, whatever goes up must come down. Okay. So this is how you read a business motivation model. Right. So we start with the business mission. Right. That leads to an effect, which is the business vision. Mission, vision, okay, and then they break down into strategies, right? Strategies, which then break down into or lead to goals. See how that works? Cause and effect. And we're breaking them down conceptually, logically, and then physically. So you might have seen me break those levels down in the past um, in one of my other courses. Um, so mission, vision, strategy, goals, tactics, and objectives. Right? Measurable targets you can get to. So objectives. You've heard of the, the acronym SMART before, Specific, Measurable, Achievable, Realistic, Time Targeted, SMART Objectives. Okay, so as we conceptually break down from what our mission is to what strategies we're gonna pull and then what projects or what tactics we're gonna use to get to those objectives, that's your business motivation model. Now let's illustrate that with um, my business. Okay, so I've gone through this a few, a few different times. But basically, my mission is, and we should always be able to put this one tagline in to wherever we're going. So my mission is to supply or give um, enterprise architecture, business architecture um, insights, hands-on insights to aspiring professionals. Okay, so that's my mission. So this is what I'm trying to, um, so hands-on, let's just say hands-on EA slash BA insights. That's my mission. That's what I'm trying to give to, to people. So therefore, what's my target state? What's my vision? All right. So my vision is to be the instructor of choice showing EA and BA insights for aspiring professionals. All right, so you hear what I'm saying? Cause, effect. Current state, future state. So when we're doing enterprise, oops, sorry, <laughs> enterprise architecture, we're doing current state and future state. Sorry, I got a little bit excited there, stamped on the ground. So strategies, so if that's my mission, what are my strategies? Well, if I'm supplying EA insights, I have to, partner with um, organizations that target EAs, BAs. So I've got a partnering strategy. All right. And because I'm doing hands-on, right, I have to do consulting. So some of my strategies are to 
um, can do consulting in different business um, types. So um, mutuals, um, profits, not-for-profits, different types of business models, okay, and doing consulting in their own business architecture and enterprise architecture. Also, uh, if my target is um, solution architects, picking up a, a solution architecture um, a framework and learning that and then and then implementing that framework into um, certain companies. So those are my strategies. My goals are, okay, so how do I know I got there to those strategies? Well, I have partner agreements. Right? I implement said um, uh, certifications. So I learned TOGAF, Archimate, um, IT for IT, um, BizBock, all these different uh, frameworks to get me to my goal, to be the instructor of choice. So I have to take in knowledge, right? So those are my goals. Right, so they're still logical. So this is con concept. They're still logical or groupings of tasks, things that I need to do to get to my goals, right? And then how do I measure those objectives? Well, I put a date on it. So by 20, 2003, I would have done assessment and workplace training for small groups. Um, and then I just start adding dates to all those different, so I have, I have different partner agreements by certain, certain points in time um, and consulted in those different um, business units and those different types of businesses um, and then picked up systems engineering um, certifications. All of these things lend their weight to hands-on enterprise architecture and business architecture insights that I can supply to students. And part of my transformation is to also do online capability. Therefore, this is why I'm doing flip chart sessions in front of a camera with a little bit of lighting. So I had to learn how to do the lighting. I had to learn and take up all these different things or these capabilities, right? So those capabilities are the things that are linked to my objectives, right? So tactics might be short-term things that I'm trying to get to, to make sure I get to my, um, my objectives. Okay, so in, in classically, these are like physical projects. All right, so as part of this course, I've actually penned a lot of these. I've just done a, a small snapshot, but I've actually penned a lot of these um, down so that you can see how that works. So, conceptually, logically, physically, we know why we are in business. Now we have to hope, right, that we're building the capabilities linked to different objectives that people are gonna want, right? So, um, and that the, the people will pay for, obviously, and that, that, that you're going to help. So part of your mission is you're gonna help. So we go to another technique, right? And that's what's in the next section, and we'll discuss that. Um, knowing your customer, which is the value proposition canvas. Okay, so let's stop there and then we'll go into the next one.